Okay, hi everyone. Uh, um, during a um, Cyogen and Mod uh, update on my Motorola Defy, um, I got a whole bunch of corruption errors um, with the error um, cannot mount case. So what I had to do is I had to actually go back to default, restore my Defy back to default um, before I could root and um, install recovery and install the latest um, Quarks Cyogen and Mod version uh, 4.1.2 the Jelly Bean. So I'm just going to go through the process of what I did. So before we get going, um, we want to go and download um, a bunch of files just so that we're um, prepared. So if you're going to Defy and Defy in general, the first one we're going to look for is this thread here. Um, is your Defy, Defy Plus a bricked? So if we go into that, um, okay. So the couple of things to download from here is obviously you need the uh, Motorola USB driver. So make sure you've got 5.5, which I think is the latest. Um, I I had an older version, 5.4, and um, it kind of played up on me. So make sure you get this latest version. Uh, the other one is also if I've got a Defy green lens, so. Um, we, you need to go and find your base um, ROM. So if we click on this, it'll take us to this site here where my um, Motorola is from Telstra Australia. So you'll see there's, I saw there was two here. Um, so if there's that one there and um, there's that one there. And I downloaded this one because I think it is a newer version. So yeah, so download that. It's a zip file. We'll need to unzip it. So go and find your uh, your the ROM from where your um, Defy is from. Um, also, then the other one is obviously go and download this RSD Lite, which is the um, it's a Motorola flasher, basically. So uh, if, so go ahead and download it. I've downloaded all these and. Um, installed them already so go ahead and do that um, that's fine just just leave all this for now uh, we'll come back to it okay so the other thing we need to go and download is from the same um, contributor here um, it's called routing defy or defy plus so from this one um, you'll see it's it's basically a, a similar um, thread except the link here is broken. So, um, but out of here, what we want is we want this super one click program. It's a great little program where it does exactly what it says. It with one click you can actually go and root your Defy. So, go ahead, download that. Um, okay, and extract it. So, leave that for now. We'll go back. There's one more thing that we need. Um, go into the f under general again, go into the guide, all-in-one beginner guide. This guide here um, by Zephrot, there's a link to um, this one here and under facts. You want this one, second init. So this is a um, as it says here, it's the boot kicks in right after the boot and allows the Defy to load a different non-stock Android. So it'll take you to th this thread here. So um, again, read all this just so you're familiar. You know what you're doing. Um, I downloaded this latest one, so go ahead, download that. It's an APK and save it. Um, as you can see, it's a package file for Android, so um, it's pretty straightforward. We just copy it onto the uh, the root of the SD and install it. But we'll go through that in a second. So, okay, now we can go back to Defy. And if you already haven't done so, go into Android development. As always, go through and read, read, read. Um, in this scenario, in this case, I'm actually going to go and download this one by Quarks. So click on that, 
and go to the download link and here for this particular install I'm gonna go and the one we want is the CM 10 second boot nightly defy def plus because this ROM actually works for both the defy and the defy plus so I go ahead and download that one that's the latest one so il the 9th of um, November 2012 so go ahead and save that and obviously go ahead and check the MD5 sums um, okay downloads that one other thing that we definitely need to download is the Google app so click on this link and in here look for um, the newest Google Apps for Jelly Beans so um, whoops it's a bit so that's ICS so Jelly Bean that one here so that's the newest one 14th of October 2010 so go ahead and um, download that um, and save it all to the same place okay so that's um, basically everything we need to be able to restore our Defy back to default um, and then we'll go and we'll root it again and then we'll install the recovery and then we can go ahead and install the new ROM alright so uh, be right back and we'll go, th go through it